the last piece in our program is pretty special to us. I'm sure you can tell by everything that's gone on around here. Um, the way this all came to happen was last year, this went ensemble went and took a, uh, we were invited to perform at the Tilla Center. We played a piece by a composer that I had never heard of before, but I heard a piece on a CD and I loved it. It's called Sace Manuel. And we played at the Tilla Center, it went very well. And I sent her the CD and we started to correspond back and forth. And she was surprised that anybody in New York was even playing her music because she lives out in Minnesota. Uh, so we got to talk a little bit and she told me that on the morning of September 11th, 2001, she had just completed a piece of music. It was requested of her by the Minnesota Orchestra, a professional orchestra. Um, she write this piece for them. And she finished it that morning. And she, to her credit, she said the second she finished the last note of the piece, her phone rang. And a friend said, turn on the TV. So she turned on the television, of course, uh, at the exact time that the second plane hit the second tower. And at that point, thought to herself, how could I possibly write such happy music and she put the piece away for a little over a week, and then she came back to it and she wrote the following preface to the score. One of the most admirable human characteristics is the desire to help others. Many people volunteered to help at the site of the disasters, but those of us who are geographically far removed cannot do anything directly to help. We can, however, strive to fulfill the American dream. The people from different backgrounds will all live and work together peacefully. Groove is a celebration of the people of New York who have come together with courage and valor at a time of crisis. She then goes on to talk about how this piece is set up in three styles. It starts with a Celtic style, in the middle of the piece it turns to klezmer music, and it finishes in a salsa style. And she found that quite amusing that um, it all almost represented the way those three cultures immigrated to New York. And how they all kind of came together to work together to give us the society in which we live now. And as soon as I read that, I thought, that's exactly what happened here at Oyster Bay in order to make this piece possible. Um, to do something of this magnitude, we pulled out all the stops, and I cannot thank the people of Oyster Bay enough, especially, um, it started with Mr. Gould, who donated money from his talent show. Thank you, Mr. Gould. It was the friends of the... Yeah. the Performing Arts Center who volunteered and stepped up. I thank them as well. <laughs> Mr. Friedman helped out through the Music Fund, and I thank him as well. <laughs> and last, certainly not least, is the PTSA Cultural Arts. Those people of cultural arts have done so much for our music program here in the last few years. <laughs> So about a week and a half ago, Dr. Hansen came out here, like Mr. Friedman was telling you about. She worked with the kids for two days. We found her to be a delight to work with. She's a fantastic human being, very energetic. And she could not say enough great things about the kids that are on stage right now. She said one night after rehearsal um, that, to be honest, she expected, when she found out the size of our school and the size of this ensemble, I told her it was only 33 players, she thought there's no way this piece is going to happen. Um, and she was pleasantly surprised when she walked in the door, which is, uh, I was pretty happy with that as well. I was a little nervous about that. But uh, these guys have risen to the challenge and their professionalism in rehearsals, not just with Dr. Hansen, but throughout the entire year, has been absolutely exemplary. They are a blast to work with. We can laugh and we can joke in rehearsal and get right back to work. I cannot thank them enough for all the work they've done in this piece. Thank you. So without further ado, this is Groove by Shelley Hansen. 